It is one of the most famous parts of the Bible. The waters miraculously part, allowing the Israelites to flee through the sea. Well, now a researcher has applied modern science to what many accept on faith, and he says science may explain what could have happened. Here's Dan Harris. It is a key chapter in what's been called the greatest story ever told. As portrayed in the movie The Ten Commandments, the Bible says the Israelites, when fleeing Egypt, got stuck between the Pharaoh's army and the Red Sea. On Moses' command, the waters parted, allowing the Israelites to escape. Enter Carl Drews, a software engineer from the National Center for Atmospheric Research. He says at long last, he's discovered a plausible explanation. The exciting thing about this research is that there is a scientific basis for this 3,000-year-old story. He used old maps and satellite data to build this computer model, which shows that when a strong wind blows out of the east all night long, just like it says in the Bible, the water is pushed back, leaving a muddy patch that somebody could walk across. And when the wind dies down, the water rushes back in. It shows the body of water um, lowering in level and splitting around the point of this peninsula and then dividing on both sides. The crossing is open for four hours. The crossing is three kilometers long and four kilometers wide. So there's plenty of room to get across and I'm kind of imagining ankle deep mud in that spot. Now we should point out that Carl Drews is a devout Christian and some of his peers have asked whether his beliefs may be coloring his science. I have to put on my scientist hat when I'm looking at this. So I've got my scientist hat on and I'm trying to analyze this objectively. One leading scientist we reached tonight said it is possible that Drews was swayed by his faith. But he also said that when you look at the work, it's also possible that Drews has found a reasonable case for a miracle. Dan Harris, ABC News.